Michelle Wolf's Netflix show is canceled after three months. Netflix has been desperately trying to launch a successful talk show. The online television network, that's basically what it is, has had huge success in the airing of classic shows and producing its own new shows and movies, but it's never been able to crack the talk show market. I suspect it's probably something to do with the fact that most people who watch talk shows don't use Netflix. They're more likely to tune in with a remote control and on a television in the living room, whereas the younger generation will watch TV on their iPhones and iPads anywhere in the house. So Netflix decided to produce talk shows for younger people, appealing to the far left crowd and in the process, failing miserably. From the Bill Nye Science Show that denied basic science surrounding biological gender to Chelsea Handler's show that was axed after two seasons, Netflix has tried to appeal to the far left, but it just keeps going wrong. And instead of changing course, they double down. When dumb people double down on a dumb idea, I've heard it being called dumbling down, and I think that sums this up quite well. Netflix dumbled down and gave Michelle Wolf her own show. What could go wrong, right? Well, at the launch of her show, she performed a salute to abortion, one of the most distasteful jokes I've ever seen. I think even some pro-choicers winced at it. Abortion isn't something to laugh about no matter what side of the argument you're on. It's a sad and emotionally traumatic thing, but there was Michelle Wolf on stage dressed up like some baton twirler from a marching band saluting abortion on the 4th of July. She probably thought being shocking and sticking her finger up to what she probably thinks is the old white man's Republican establishment would have won her favors with viewers, but it didn't. Her show has been canceled only after three months. Three months. I mean, at least that nasty piece of work Chelsea Handler got a couple of seasons under her belt, but viewers couldn't even stomach Wolf's show for a few months. No viewership figures have been released, and the National Review rightly points out that the network has the unique ability to see how many people really watch their shows. They don't have Nielsen ratings. They see exactly how many people watch each show. And with their millions of subscribers, their net income of reportedly 290.1 million in just the first quarter this year means they have more than enough to spend the relatively cheap production of her talk show. So why would they get rid of her? It all points to low ratings and who can blame the viewers. I think this makes a wider point about society as well. Audiences were vocal about it. They shouted from the rooftops how funny she was, but in reality, nobody watched it. In the real world, the left shout from the rooftops and tries to claim the moral high ground, but they utterly fail in convincing the general public that they're right about things. This is exactly why Trump won. The far left doesn't have the same numbers as the sane, decent people of America. These people are just making TV terrible. They use their loud voices to scream and shout about shows like Roseanne, which did incredibly well with the ratings, but ultimately got canceled. They use that same voice to put people like Michelle Wolf on television, only for the shows to prove so unpopular they have to be taken back off the air. The left ruin fun. They ruin art, they ruin popular culture, and they ruin lives. If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.